Hey guys, on the last video, a user by the name of Shibi commented uh, that the glitch uh, super mana and health region mode would make farming faster. So that got me really interested in this because I had no idea such a glitch existed. Uh, so today we're going to find out how to trigger this glitch, where it can be applied, what it can be used for, and finally highlight some of the conditions or actions that could break this buff or glitch. So the first thing you need to ensure is that you fight enemies which can survive a couple of hits. Tanky enemies with high defense are perfect for getting this setup running. Once you find your target, start by building up your technique bar. After you have a bar or two to perform a technique, get hit a couple of times. Losing 25% to 50% of your health would be perfect. Next, find a warp point you can land on or hang onto, so a rock or a tower will work. Once you're on the warp point, Press L1 to bring up the technique menu and pick one of the gang. Do not press anything until you're prompted to press a key to link your attack. Once you connect, that's it. You should be in the glitched HP MB recovery mode, where you're constantly recovering HP and MB as if you're standing or hanging from a warp point. In other words, you can use warp strikes, doge attacks, use royal arms without any repercussions. This surely makes taking out very difficult enemies easier. You can hold the guard button without any fear that your MB is going down. You can also spam warp strike without having to worry about MB, as a pause of 2 to 3 seconds should get you back to a full bar. You can also take a couple of hits without worrying as your HP will recover very quickly. While this sounds amazing and I do think it makes farming faster, there are a lot of downsides to it. This is not an infinite MB HP glitch. If you are level 1 and go fighting a level 30 iron giant, do expect to get sliced in half if you are not familiar with the controls, so this is not an instant win card. Also, the moment you do any action that triggers a loading time, you will lose the glitch. In other words, you won't be able to fast travel, sleep, progress the story, or do anything that requires loading, so it's pretty restrictive. If you warp to a high warp point, it will break the glitch too. The glitch will not work again unless you rest. Let me repeat that. If you warp accidentally to a high warp point, it's gone, the glitch is gone. To trigger it again, you need to go back and sleep or maybe go through a loading screen. But the glitch will not work even if you fulfill the condition, it's not going to work again. This is a glitch, so do expect it to get bashed in the future. However, this is not a single player game and you play how you see fit, so no judgement from me here. But I wouldn't encourage using it, as the time it takes to set this up and how easy you can lose it makes it rather an annoyance than a blessing. What do you guys think? What is your opinion on glitching single player games? Will you use it? What would you use it for? Please leave a comment with your answer, as I'm really interested to hear what you guys think. If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, please drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Um, I'm not going to say goodbye today as some people find it creepy. You guys break my heart. I can't be creepy on my own channel. Why?